welcome back to nuts on fishing right well these tutorials are gonna be for beginners for not experts but you can if you take some stuff from it if you don't then you know that's it but anyway but yeah this is gonna be for um, gonna be for, for beginners and it's gonna be a series of so we're going going from um, two hook two hook to free hook loop rigs to pattern oscillators to pulley rigs to drop down or all, all of them so yeah for sea fishing and then there's going to be I'm also going to do one for course fishing that's me another one anyway anyway so episode one coming up soon Welcome back to Nuts on Fishing. Right, today then we're going to be making, I'm going to show you how to make a Portsmouth rig or a loop rig. A, actually we're going to be making a three hook loop rig. So yeah, sorry haven't we haven't been uh, doing much because obviously with the lockdown and you know or we can't travel to we can't travel so anyway we'll come back to you blue 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 peter style Boo! back in the tackle garage right here we are again bloody freezing and so yeah what we're going to do today is i guess like i said it's the three three hook loop rig or Portsmouth rig as people always know it's it's a good this it's one of my favorite favorite um rigs for for basically for anything for floundering you can do it for floundering you can use it for anything really like it's just one of universal things I I make I make mine with breakaway swivels sorry breakaway uh coil crimps Which are these? I don't know if anyone's seen them before. These bad boys. And so yeah, anyway, right, so I'll come back to you. Right, so here we go again. Right, so this is um, 60 pound 60 pound rig body to a again I think that's I think that's a um, Cox and Roll, Gemini, I'm not sure who, I'm not sure which. Anyway, right. So there's 60 pound, about, about, yeah, about a meter, about a meter long. Anyway, right. Uh, how, I mean, I say, like I like I said to you, I'm using the breakaway uh, coil crimps, which is the picture just up here. And basically, right, you get a, a bead swivel. That's for the top snood. Normally you put I'd put a TSR spring on this, but don't have any left. Anyway, another another one for which is a cascade swivel, two two beads and a cascade swivel, and then another bit. So this 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 bit this will call this this bit this one here will form the loop. So yeah so. Right, so the first nude, you cut them all, cut bits off like this, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that's it, yeah. Bits like that, little sort of, the thing is I've got big feet, big hands, so... Got to, got to be quite big. So... Hang on. So you get, so like that. And then you, what you do is I, I don't know if I can tell I can show you this. Yeah. You basically wrap So 
It's a bit shit like that, see? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And then what I do is just give it a little pull. And that gives you a little bit of movement on it, a little bit of play. So that's that's your first that's your first snood, that's your first first snood on the on the rig. Yeah. So the next one. Right, so that's your that's your uh Right now as you can see now I've attached the hook and I'm putting I'm making up the second rig, the second snood with the cascade swivel. So with that hooky bit there you just so it literally just Oh there we go. Right. And again, I don't know if I can get this on the camera, but all you do is this. A lot of people think a lot of people think they uh, ruins the line. I don't personally think so, but you know, you'll get those critics that will say, "Oh, it does this, this, and this," and you know, and that's not quite right. Here we go. Right. So there's the first. So there's the there's the coil there's the coil crimp. So not coil crimp. That's the, that is the breakaway casket. Um, that is the breakaway coil crimp. Yep. Yeah. And all you do now is uh, tighten the like that. So as you see, as you can see, and then like that. So then through that will. Eventually, be like this. Be like this. So, get another coil crimp. Right. Again. Oh. Just sort of give it a little bit of movement because obviously he plays fishing. Again, the beauty about these coil crimps is that you can um, there we go so a little bit of movement in it so you can have a little bit of movement you know I don't think that's on a piece rig so yeah so well as you can see so when so when it hits the when it hits the ground this should just clip off like that so anyway wait wait so we'll go to the next one now Yeah, we we not big, we're not big hooks, sort of like a size one. So tie that on. But yeah, hang on. So. Right, so there's there's the next one. So we've got so we got swivel bead swivel bead. Come on. Down to a I'm gonna focus. There we go. Down to a coil crimp bead cascade swivel and another bead and a cascade and uh, sorry and a coil crimp. So and again another bit of line to a 
to the hook, another hook. Right back again. Right here we go. Um, just setting up another the 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 swivel for the loop rig. The loop again. Let's tie them on like that. Sorry if you can't see it because my hands are too big. I can't help that. Oh, that's it. Get a focus on you knob. Right, so there you go. That. As you see, splash down, um, Gemini splash down, splash down. And so yeah, so at the minute, right, so there's the, this is the bit for the, for the, that's the, that's the one for the, the, the loop. Up to a, never, like say, like say, Gemini up to a, up to the hook. And the same again, just the same again. But the other one's just got a cascade swivel on. Right, so. Right, now this, this is the tricky bit. The setting, I right, hang on. You know what you say, you never can have too much fishing kit. Oh. There we go. It's full of it in there. I got, let me have a look, let me, have a look, let me show you a little bit. Do you know if you, how much money you spend on fishing kit? Right. Dusty pressed in, pressed in, uh, and Asian 36, not 36. Anyway, that's it. That's that is fish, that's course fishing, that's four course fishing here. Oh, course fishing, and then more rods. That's, I think that's. Carp, that's, sorry, no, 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 that's, that's coarse fishing, more rods, coarse fishing, oh look, these, these are sea fishing, sea fishing, boat fishing, I don't know, that's more, more sea fishing rods, oh, forgot them, carp bivy, carp, uh, so we can fish in. That's the that's the pod. God, there's me new one of my new buys. When I when I done top of manor. Porn. So. Basically, anyone out there who says you, you get those, you've got those misses that mode, or you got too much kit. Oh. <laughs> you can never have too much kit. So there we go, the finished article. I don't know if you can see. So if I push the splash down, a splash down rig. Push it down like that. Give it a little flick. It all. And as, that, as you can see with this, a long boom, so which lays on the floor as well. And there's a, this, another snood there, and another snood there. So basically, this is used for place fishing, uh, scratching. I use it a lot for because what you can do with this, with this, with this loop, with this one, and that one there. You, what you can do is you can put. You can put like, uh, you know, 40, 50 pounds with a big freer hook for uh, for mats fishing. Um, also, yeah, so anyway, thank you. This is the, again, come on. Again, this is the three hook loop rig. So what I'll do is I will click it. As you can see, there's a long, uh, longish loop, snood there, and a snood there. This can be used for anything really, it can be used for 
placing can use be used for floundering can use be used can be used for anything really I mean also you can still use this still use this like for chisel I think I think this is a good a good um, come on a good very very good because this the one that forms the loop obviously cascade swivel but this all this bit can be up to 40 power line with with a free hook on there for, for for the ray or conger or anything really so but it's just like a universal sort of enemy anyway. so this is going to be a place rig so what I'm going to do is obviously there's no there's no attractions on it or anything no beads what I'm going to do is going to get the hang on going to get going to get these seago seago seagulo go up here with green attractors which are going to be here um so yeah uh seagulo are well you know i'll have to say they 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 look to be the best on the best on the market at the minute and you know so that's the company i'm going to be buying from um Mike West seems Michael West seems a, a top geezer, and yeah, thank you very much. Peace out.